So today we're going to talk about how attackers create undetectable malware and why you might see known programs that are safe be detected by antivirus on virus total. And all of this has to do with something called packers. But let's start with the real demo. So here we have a bunch of programs, as you can see. Procmon is a known safe program. It's part of the Microsoft Sys internal suite. And if we open it, you can see that we can load up our filters, monitor what's happening on our system. We can see some network connections here, totally safe. Now, if I close out of this and go back to our folder, we have another program which is a ransomware sample. It's a bit of a simulation that was coded that's going to encrypt all of your files very quickly. But funnily enough, this one is only detected by two engines on Varstol, whereas the safe program is detected by 12 engines. And this is all because of how the code for both of these applications is packed. So first off, I want to show you that I have actually done a little trick for you. I have packed this file in a way that's going to make engines detect it. So if we scan the original Procmon, as you can see, nobody detects it. It's a safe application. But a lot of this is because of known intelligence. So antivirus companies try to flag individual things that they know as safe or malicious. There's a lot of human oversight involved in that process. So a known tool like Procmon distributed by Microsoft, eventually all the antivirus engines are gonna flag this as safe. That's just how signatures work. But we're gonna do a little mischief here. So what we're gonna do to demonstrate, I'm just gonna delete this file and I'm going to take this application, copy it over to this folder. And then we're gonna use our packer, which is UPX to obscure the code in this application. One way to see it in action would be to open uh, something like a hex editor. So if I open the hex editor, we can look at what the application looks like internally. So we're just gonna put the original in here and we'll minimize it for the meantime. We'll also open it in uh, PE Bear, another small reverse engineering tool. So I'm just gonna drag and drop this here. This application has various sections like text, data, and you can see all of them. You can see the entry point and we'll get back to this in a second. Now I'm just going to open terminal over here and we're going to run a simple command. So we're going to say upx.exe and we're going to type the name of the application we want to pack using upx. So that's procmon.exe and we're just going to hit enter. Oh, forgot. I got to use force here. But once this is done, so you can see our application is packed. Minor changes, you may not notice anything has changed. It's still there, still the same application. And if we go ahead and run it, uh, Malwarebytes on my system detected it. Interestingly, this was a sandbox detection. You may not notice any difference, but the computer does. And the way we can check that is by loading this new packed version in some of our tools. So if I load this up here, as you can see side by side, when I flip between these, you can see there's a difference in the code that you see here and the internal structure of it has changed. Similarly, if we load um, the newer version in PE, bear, you can see a massive difference in the structure. So instead of dot text, the entry point, dot R data, all of these different sections, we now have sections as UPX0, UPX1, a completely different entry point. And so the fundamental structure of the code has changed, even though it's the exact same application. And this is how attackers will often take a program that performs actions like ransomware or an info stealer that an antivirus would have been trained to detect and then change the structure of the code so the antivirus can't really tell anymore. But in order to combat that, what antivirus programs now do is if they notice some kind of packing or use of tools like UPX, they might flag any program that performs sensitive operations, even if they don't know if it's malware. So Process Monitor is a great example here. Bitdefender, CrowdStrike, Malwarebytes, they all now detect this version of Process Monitor because of the suspicious packing. And in fact, even the rules on VarsTotal detect a malware match with a UPX dump. Now, packers like UPX were pretty big back in the day, and they were very effective. Nowadays, if you just pack your malware with UPX, everybody's just going to detect it. It's just going to look suspicious because this is a pretty well-known open source packer. People know it inside and out. So attackers today, they're going to use their own custom packers to obscure their code. And sometimes they will use different layers of packing. So maybe they pack an application with one type of algorithm and then encode 
encoded with Base64. They might even password protect it. So the application only unpacks when a specific key is provided. So it only works when the attacker runs it. But when a researcher tries to test it, they can't even see what the application does. And the real challenge is you have these malware creation toolkits. They're entirely developed products or platforms that hacker groups will sell for money on the dark web. Anyone can sign into their platform, anyone that pays them Bitcoin or whatever, and create a new version of their malware that's packed with a slightly different key or pattern. So when the malware sample is generated, it's effectively a new malware sample without every single scammer or cyber criminal having to build something really sophisticated. They can just go through a UI like this, create their own threat campaign and generate a malware sample that's going to be very hard to detect. Hopefully that sheds some light into why detection is such a difficult problem. Why well, I recommend having intrusion prevention or behavioral components on your system, especially if you're vulnerable to hacking attempts. And the reason for that is an online scanner that only looks at an application's code can be easily misled by changing the structure of it. However, when you run an application on your system, it's going to unpack itself in your memory and do what it's supposed to do. And that's where behavioral protection components come in because they can look at what the application is actually doing on your system and say, hey, this looks suspicious. Let's stop this program from dumping all of your Chrome passwords. And that's a completely different thing to analyzing a program on VarsTotal or uploading it to Google Drive and hoping that it's going to detect it as malware because often these things will not. Now, if you're wondering how I come across um, these malware campaigns and these unique samples, a lot of it is thanks to the sponsor of this video, Flare. They allow you to pretty much search the dark web for anything you like without actually going on it and monitor if any of your data is being leaked by attackers or research what cyber criminals are doing. <laughs> Gotta love some of these posts on the dark web. No BS, easy guide, monkey could do. <laughs> This is really important when searching for data breaches. So you could do a search for whatever your company name is, like the PC security channel for me. And you can see what comes up, what kind of information is out there about you on the dark web. Thankfully for me, a lot of it is just people sharing my videos, but you never know until you look. So if you'd like to give this a go, definitely check them out using the link in description or the one on screen right now. And don't forget to like and share this video if you enjoyed it. If you learned something, please do share the information. Let me me know in the comments down below if you've come across any malware that wasn't detected in the past in recent times if you've been hit by an info stealer i'd love to hear stories and hey subscribe to a channel if you want to learn more about techniques used by hackers and how to protect yourself from cybercrime thank you all so much for watching this is leo and as always stay informed stay secure